Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this video we're going to be going over how to defeat the sub bosses and a lot of other monsters in Inferno and on Crips. Uh, a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me how do I do it. You know, people di having difficulties beating Berserker and Centaur and stuff like that. It's a little tricky. Um, so I just thought, okay, let's just drop a video about it. Make it a little easier for you guys. Um, but before we get into that, uh, a couple of things here. First, we have a Discord in the description if you'd like to join. If you need help with any quests or anything, jump to the Discord, DM me, DM other people, the mods, stuff like that. Everyone will help you out. Uh, number two, before we even get into the match, um, I recommend going to Google and type in Dark and Darker Interactive Map, and something like this will pop up. This map is incredibly useful. Um, pretty much this wiki covers all the maps, so you can click, you know, what map, what map layout, and it tells you the name of each grid. So this helps a lot because you'll have some quests, and you know, it'll tell you to go to a certain room. Like, I, like some quests will say go to blood platforms, so you can click over Inferno, go to Inferno One or Two, and look for where blood platforms is, which, as you can see, it's on Inferno One. Um, and that'll help you with finding quests. If you look, look at the little blue circles, these are the portals that spawn on the maps, so you can see where that's at. And then if you scroll down here, um, you can see kind of where the monsters are. So if you need Wraith kills, Berserker kills, Centaur kills, you, you click this, and then it pops up the little red triangles on the map. So it's really useful for trying to figure out exactly what's on the map. Um, and this also is really good for finding out where the red shrines are. Um, you click Altar of Sacrifice here under Shrines, and they pop up here very useful all the maps are covered uh the dark and darker wiki is updated pretty frequently and covers all maps even isobis so you know it's very useful in case you know you're doing quests or you're just trying to figure out where mobs are and it's not just like the sub bosses like all the monsters including death skulls you know skeleton footmen guardsmen all this stuff um and also what's really important too if you're trying to mine and you're like oh man i don't know where the nodes are for mining if you scroll all the way down to the bottom ish here or actually where is it at uh it should be under ores right here ruby silver ore you click that and it tells you which grids have them so blood platforms top left bottom right and then if you want to switch to the other layout on inferno bottom left top right so opposites uh but yeah that'll that'll pretty much help you out if you want to you know mine if you want to kill sub bosses quest all that stuff um, I believe the, the bosses are randomized now. They used to have set, you know, spawns um, depending on the layout of the map, but I don't think it's like that anymore. But yeah, I highly recommend downloading this, or not downloading it, just Googling it and like pulling it up on the side monitor to look at when you're getting stuff done or, you know, trying to quest or anything. It, it really comes in clutch. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. We're going to go in the dungeon and we're going to go monster by monster. Uh, mainly just the sub bosses and a lot of the extra monsters in Inferno. We're going to go over how to defeat them and kind of like their move sets and everything. Uh, let's get to it. All right, so the first sub boss that we have here on Crypts is the Wraith. So the Wraith actually is pretty easy to deal with um, as long as you have high ground to stand on. Um, as you can see here, the Wraith always aims for like your lower body when he swings. And so all you have to do is find like high ground and right when he swings, you just want to jump over his swing and you should be good to go. Um, pretty much the Wraith, every time he hits you, he slows you and uh you know and he does some decent damage so it's, it's kind of important to be careful uh the nightmare version of this slows you even more and has like a lunge ability where he lunges even farther so that's something to be careful of uh, if you need to go up higher ground than just it's, you know that might be the move all right next up on our list we have the skeleton champion so the skeleton champion in my opinion is probably the most annoying to deal with he has one of three combinations that he does um, he does a single strike and resets. He does a double strike resets and a triple strike that resets. And his move patterns change on the triple strike, whether he does a stab like right there or he does a shield bash. He's a little difficult to deal with, so the best way to handle it is to just find somewhere you can stand up and whenever he does an upper strike, jump over his strike and you just pretty much, you know, kill him from high ground because most of his strikes won't even be able to reach you. Other than this, um, if you're playing Warlock, you can drop a Hydra to grab aggro, Hellfire him down, throw curses, or, you know, just poke through your Hydra and deal damage. Just gotta make sure to avoid those upper strikes, because, uh, yeah, even when you're in high ground, he can still hit you. But other than that, it's not too difficult. And another little bonus trick here on Crips that uh, a lot of people don't know. Um, so when you're dealing with the this, this Skull Room here in Pyramid Room, the, the Skulls, if you open, when you open the door to enter the room, right, you can circle around the room and gather up all the skulls to make it a little easier. And then if you go back to the door in which you opened and sit behind the door, the skulls will end up killing each other. 
um, which makes this process a whole lot quicker and safer, especially when you go into high roller and you're encountering a lot of the nightmare skulls. They do like double attacks. So all it takes is like three of those nightmare skulls to double attack you and you'll pretty much die. Um, it can be kind of deadly, especially with the amount of third parties that are on crypts. This is definitely like a safer way to do this. Um, but yeah, after you stand behind the door, you know, make sure you still have aggro. They'll end up killing each other. And then you just pretty much go back through the door and clear the rest of them out. And then uh, you're good to go. It's pretty simple. All right. So the first mosque we're going to talk about here in Inferno is the Demon Bat. Um, although he's kind of freaky looking and he's kind of, you know, the way he swings is kind of looks sketchy. It's actually pretty easy to deal with. You just run sideways and you swing. That's, it's, it's literally as simple as that. Um, he always swings, he always kicks forward, so as long as you're sidestepping and then you come in and do strikes, it's pretty easy to avoid. Just keep in mind, if he does hit you, it will slow you, um, and the Nightmare version of this, if they hit you, it will actually snare you in place, just like the, the Nightmare Mummies. So, gotta be careful of that, but not too difficult. Alright, and now to the two most difficult that people struggle with. We're gonna talk about the Demon Centaur here first. Demon Centaur has two moves. He, or he has three moves. He has a charging ability if you're far away from him where he charges you. And then he has a overhead strike and he has a side strike. Um, essentially, all you have to do to defeat Centaur is when you look up and you see him strike from above, right there, you go to, you crouch and you look to the left and you go into his armpit. And the other is when he swings from the right, you crouch and go to the right side. So as long as you're ducking and going underneath his attacks, it's, he's really easy to deal with. He just looks pretty intimidating. Um, and also, if you're crouched and you're just looking at his legs, you know, you can do this pretty easily and you can continually strike as you're, you know, killing him. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Just make sure you have, you clear the room because as you can see here, you know, I aggroed the Berserker at the same time and that can make things a little bit more difficult. But good thing is he was almost dead anyway. And that leads us here to the Berserker. Berserker is essentially the same thing. Um, he does a continuous strike, uh, downward slashes. As long as you go underneath his armpits every time he swings and you're kind of like looking at leg level, you'll be able to duck his swings. So as long as, you know, you go under his right, you go under his left and you just continually do that, he won't be able to hit you. The nightmare version of this mob though will do a spinning attack and as long as you're looking down, he won't be able to hit you with that either. So they're actually a lot more easier to deal with than you'd think. Um, not too bad. Just make sure that there's no mobs because as you can see there, I had a ranger shoot at me while dealing with this and you know, you can die pretty quickly if you have a couple rangers shooting at you when you're trying to do this. You need this to be a specifically a 1v1 area to deal with this. Um, also, when you're, you know, when you're going underneath his armpits and when he stops, that's a good time to like aim up at his head and get a few headshots in. Uh, but yeah, he's not too difficult. He looks intimidating, but you know, it's pretty much the same. A lot of the mobs in this in this game, the sub bosses, actually have a lot of the same move sets, but just like a slight difference. So as long as you go underneath his armpits, no problem. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. And last but not least, we got the Demon Dog. The Demon Dog is actually pretty easy to deal with. He has one of two attacks. His first attack is a lunge, as you just saw right there. And he lunges when you're kind of far away from him. And then the second attack he does is when you get close to him, he does like an upper bite at your face, which is a headshot. So one thing to keep in mind. The way to deal with him, you just sidestep him, as you can see here. It's pretty easy to deal with. His Nightmare version, he has an electrified collar. If you hit his collar, it will do uh, electric damage to you. So you got to be careful to avoid that. But other than that, he hits hard, but he's pretty easy to deal with. You just sidestep him, just like a lot of other mobs, like the Demon Bat.